Yeah. Find a place to stretch. I like to find my own little area everywhere I go. This happens to be the area today. I do like this bowling alley though. It's always been a nice bowling alley. We love ice. But they also make good pets. Along with their grips and other utensils. What else I want to hit? Unhinged stuff all day. You don't have to try to get me to say unhinged stuff. It just will happen. It's more than guaranteed. It just has to not be it has to not be cuss words behind it. That's the biggest thing. All your deepest darkest secrets. Alright. Just like randomly. There's no reason I'm asking you or anything. You ready for my deepest secret? I love cheesecake. And I can't avoid it. <laughs> Regardless of how much I've been dieting for however many years, if I see a f cheesecake, I'm like, I need this. I need this cheesecake. I'm just 2,000 everything at base just to see it. I want to see front to back distance, how much surface is going to affect the actual energy store. Um, most of the time I'm going to be looking for cover to store the energy, not the surface. But 44 feet. I like to use speed. I get older every day, buddy. You get older every day? I think that's how age works. I need this in a three incher. That would be good. Bit too long. really consistent. Jew. I like that because that's not really looking for any help. No. Anywhere. No. Just shoving it in there. And I have and I have a five inch to go off it. So. Thank you brother. Yeah it seems like the, the bigger core pearl engine's working good for me. Um, it seemed pretty easy to get bogged down into trying to play too much shape for me, but I'm a guy that doesn't like to play a lot of shape anyway. I like to keep it pretty much in front of me, so I'm just gonna try to play to that strength all day, for real. Um, I've been finding myself, sometimes when I get out here, especially in main fields, I try to play towards everyone else because there's like a right part of the lane. It's like, brother, if you're averaging 235, whatever you're doing is the right part of the lane, so I, I'm just gonna do that. You're the guy that's really good and like talking under your breath. I definitely talk under my breath a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's 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 more positive than you think. It's I believe like that. I believe that. Well, you're I'm a very positive person. I try to be. At least I, you are I, I, I attempt you are to be. Now. Yeah. You are now. <laughs> used to not be. Ten years ago? <laughs> not so much. Not getting away with some foot mistakes, that's fine. Do not like. Mm -mm -mm, not one bit. Hit it. Come on. Oh. You don't love me like that, huh? Well, damn. Strong guy. <laughs> Bro, I've been doing push ups all year. That's way better. Alright, alright, alright. All right. So it does die a little bit. It's really bad. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey! Way to trust that a little bit. Save the game. Grindy first game. Not the best footing, that's for sure. I don't know what to do about that. Uh-huh, I see, I see. I was missing it by an area. Zone left, bigger ball, wider pin. What was that? One, two, three, six. Cool. That's 
so I need to keep moving. Wow. That was really good too. I really like that one. Closer. Keep going. Keep moving. Like a double area move from the last pair. Six. Pick up the way I need to. Why didn't you pick up? That was pretty good. Yeah, see, that's like perfect. Left lane, do that for me. Thank you. We need the left lane to do that. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Wow. Wow. It's that much tighter? I should have just trusted that it was that much tighter. That was really good. <laughs> Okay. Make sure. All right, let's bring it back. Five more games. You can't hit that? You can't knock that over? I mean, that ball looks like you can get really, really soft. But I don't want to get soft. I feel you. As much as you don't want to get soft, the, uh, it might be the best thing to do. Just I mean, you got to get your ball to continue to slide left right now, and your ball wants to straighten out so bad. Yeah, it's going dead forward off every spot. Yeah, that's why I say like it, right now, if everything, everything is. Can I move to it? I mean, or is it just going to be fall off the cliff every time I miss a border? Right? That's what it feels like. All right. Every time it will be. So, so what? Venom shock or still this and just slow down? I mean. Anything you can do to get your ball to start facing down and just continuously go left. I mean, if you look at every ball reaction, every single ball that comes off the hand is facing this way and yeah. it just continues to go that way. So, I mean, it almost doesn't matter what you throw. You just got to do that. You just got to make sure you can lay down with the cleaner ball and just get it to, to face it. So, get your slow hand screw, super slow hand, and just figure out how to just float it and watch it catch and go. Okay. So... Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm... Why do you think I continue to misread these? Why do you think I continue to misread these? This is like a... This is like a constant problem now where I'm just misreading patterns. The, uh, well, the long, I think it's easier for you to do that because no matter how slow you get, even though your tilt is still facing the ceiling, whatever it catches it, just goes forward. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you can kind of like... You can kind of play the hold doing that, but then like you said, every time you miss right, and you've got to get deep into your feet, and every time you miss right, it never hooks. Well, that's why, too, and it hasn't felt like I've had hold the entire day so far. Yeah. It's like I'm trying to find the hold, and it's not there you gotta, for me, you gotta, at least. you gotta, you got to throw it slower. With just, angle for the hold to happen. And start getting it to face. So start getting that thumb up on the side of the ball, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And just start changing that rotation. We can do that. That was pretty that was much better, I thought. That was much better. And it just went dead for me. So it couldn't have been that much better. I, I, it's more frustrating that I keep misreading patterns after so long of being out here. Like, it's just it's unacceptable. But I'm throwing, it, I'm throwing it fine. So I know when I'm going to see it, I'm going to have a seven bagger. It's just like, you got to see it. So um, that change is really good. I like. The idea that I have now, I should have just kind of trusted the instinct of staying farther right and kind of shoving it, jamming it a little bit. I thought I was getting too jammy. I wasn't. So I was just using, I had the right idea in the wrong part of the lane with the wrong ball. And it took me way too long to figure out the wrong part of the lane and the wrong ball part. So it's frustrating, but you know, that's what you do. You, you can't. Unfortunately, with, with only seven games and a one in ten or one in nine cut, whatever it is, like you can't do that stuff. You just it's, it's unacceptable. You can't do it. So now I got to climb my way all the way back. Um, definitely not giving up. Absolutely not. Uh, so 
I'm just gonna try 770 the next three, 770 or more the next three, and just crush. Like that's the only that's the only option I have. Go crush. So that's what we're gonna try. Okay, okay, crush time. Oh, you know that song? Do you know the song Rocket by Beyonce? That's a good song. Yeah. I can't sing any of it because I'm mic'd up, but that's a really good song. Oh God, brother. Oh my God. Not when I need every hit I can get. There we go. Could have been a four bag or two. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Good five bagger. God. Uh, my pocket percentage is so bad. That same exact shot was five over there. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Close. Good read on that one. A little more. A little, a little 46 bagger right there. That's a good one. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. On that, on that left lane, I missed by about this much. And it missed the head pin. So, it's not my favorite result in the world there. But, we're going to figure it out. Nice. Navigating this pair much better. There we go. I just needed to start at 8.30 this morning. That's gotta be close. I was gonna say, that had to be close. That was aced. I broke 200 on this pair. That's a feat. <laughs> That's a bit unlucky. The Deadwood, Deadwood Clear Perfection. Hiya! Look at that perfect Deadwood Clear. Uh, I don't know, brother. I don't want to shave a little more. Yeah, it just feels like I could, I might have been able to pull out a better game, not yeah. trying to shape it, but. The, uh... Like I said, I mean, the cut's already at 80 It's only at 80, though. I could have made it. 80 or more over 40. It takes a punch right now. You haven't pulled it too long. I think, I think you take these last two games right now. Because you're going to see it again, inevitably. You, yeah. have to, you, have to, you have to see yourself do it under the circumstances. Okay, I'll trust it. It's just—it's so frustrating to always be bluffed into this move and have this happen, and then now it's conscious move and it's still happening. So it's like every single time I do this exact thing, I start splitting on tour. If you were, every if, time. If you were 40 over, I wouldn't—I wouldn't have told you to do it. I know, trust but me. but right now we both agree that like hey, your other your other bar reaction locks you in to two team. Two team. Yeah. Okay. And we need more than two teams, so I agree with that. Okay. But. So and the only way to do that right now is you absolutely have to see your ball do. And you can't you can't go against the line and what the lane is really telling you to do for the most part. You know what I'm saying? You're too good for that. And you're getting I think you're getting bluffed into the other move that you're talking about. We're staying trapped and staying like it's staying in front of me more? Yeah. Trust me, it's 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 hard. Even if you follow the transition far enough left and keep up with that little trap deal, right? And you keep finding fresh to the front, your carry goes. Oh yeah, I and mean, that's what we saw. Right. The carry was terrible. So but you don't I mean, look, it's there. Like that, 
not a great shot to sit on. You had the front three, one and one even good. You stripped a four or something. So, like, if you look at the shape, you have to do what's out there. That one shaped, that one looked a lot better. Let's focus on that one and see if it's shaped again. Because that one, did you expect it to run over the left side of the two pin almost? Yeah. Okay. I, so. st I, I still am thinking shocks the ball though. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not sure. So I'll, do, I'll throw that one for sure. But I just, yeah, it's a state, I don't know. It's so frustrating. It to is. Just like. It is frustrating. Trust me. I know. I've seen it for 20 years. I know, yeah. <laughs> All I see is more and more rev rate. There has to be an answer, though. Like, yeah, get in front of it. Figure out how to make your ball read it right. Delivery into the lane. Right. That's what we're doing. Yeah, right. I feel like that one, I felt like these three shots, all three of these shots this game have been excellent. Okay, so that means so the next... The, it, that so means, it's ball selection. So that means that two of those balls are definitely already out when you need to start hooking them. Well, uh, the VIP, maybe, is right. kind of, it's already kind of close. So you can get that ball in the bag, it's clean. Yeah. It's got, so, it's got a tall enough pin. Yeah, so that, that, that primal looked like it was... Um, let's save it for your, for your little other deal. Okay. Yeah. So, but that new, where's the pin on that new? Same place as the primal, so it's it's a five inch or five sixty five by five by thirty. So it's symmetrical and that covers a lot cleaner, a lot faster. Yeah. So. We'll see. Absolutely. Give it a look. Right on. Good start. In five words. Five words. I can do it in one. It's misery, okay. <laughs> for sure. Um, I don't know. Just uh, learned a lot at the end there, which is nice. Like to be able to come away from a minus block and be learning. Um, although I hate to just like be out here to learn, but you have to learn. Like you have to develop and, and just get better. Uh, my weakness is still shaping it through the fronts. I need to get better at opening my angles really fast um, and being able to control that for a long period of time. Um, I'm fine once I get to a certain point, like as you saw at the end there, like once I get in front of the ball return, yeah, I can do that. Like that's that's really nothing, that's just physical changes. But like before then, where it's like that in between, where it's like, do you shape it around the spot you're supposed to shape it to or do you jam it in the spot? Um, my instinct's going to be to jam it, but sometimes I just need to accept that the fact that it's, it's gonna be open and slow this time or this week or, uh, I probably cost myself a bunch of pins just not trusting that type of move um, enough because I tried to do it earlier and I just didn't do it enough. Um, so it's kind of that in-between where it's like, because I'm not the best at it, I didn't commit to it as much as I could have, which then affected my score adversely, which then caused me to go back to the jam to save score, and I only had two team max. Like, and those, those two team games were just like excellent games, right? So just like really, really good games. Uh, that would normally be 250, 260 if I were to have matched up. Uh, just like they were last week. Like last week I went 250, 250 on the end to make the cut. And it was the same kind of thing where it's just like, I just got myself in a zone that I was comfortable with and just was able to like make shots. Uh, and that's really where you want to get to on any bowling pattern anywhere ever is just, you just want to make shots. Like if you're in the zone where you're just like, all I need to do is hit somewhere around the target I'm looking at and it's going to be in the pocket and it's going to probably strike. Like, that's the, that's the S plus tier, like you're doing everything you need to do strategically to make that work. Um, today, obviously, like wherever I threw it, didn't matter what I did, it felt like I had very, very little area, not only off my hand, but just in general, just speed wise, I couldn't miss, if at all. Um, and even when I didn't miss at all, it still had negative results um, sometimes. So I'm not defeated uh, today, obviously, not a great day. Uh, it'll take me like 10 hours or so to get rid of the like, I let everyone down feelings. That's kind of where, like that's my issue mentally after I bolt is when I don't bowl very well or I miss cuts or I don't make money or whatever. Like I just feel like I let everyone that believes in me and supports me down. 
uh, and then I have to get over that at, at, after a certain point. And it doesn't help that I'm like alone in this adventure um, for a lot of it, but um, like as far as emotionally supported wise, but um, I'll get over it and be fine. Uh, I'm gonna be in Anderson, I'm gonna be in Delaware. Like this is what I love to do. I, I would rather not do anything else, uh, but you know, just gotta keep working. Like I'm gonna spend every day in the bowling alley when I can. I'm gonna coach as much as I can because I love coaching. Um, even though you saw today, like me and Da, like uh, Dick Allen, go back and forth. Like I'm so thankful that he even tells me anything. Like I have those type of people in my life, like Brett Spangler, Dick Allen, like Kurt Pilon when he's here, and some other people that just will tell me these things and will will help me. And like that, I can't. Even if they're wrong, or even if I'm wrong, or even if it doesn't work out, like. The, thank, the thanks I feel for them just caring enough to tell me about my game or try to help me learn, like, that's amazing. So, there's always positives to take from every day. Um, just gotta be better. But I have to be better. And uh, I'm gonna be better. Like, I'm going to win out here. Like, <laughs> I want it so bad. So, I'm going to win out here. This week's not my week. So, but thank you, as, as far as everybody too, thank you for doing this with me. Like. This is awesome. So to feel like uh, to feel like I'm not just like a nobody, but uh, even though I, I don't like I don't think about it that way anyway. But it just feels nice. Like everyone likes attention, right? So, but uh, yeah, um, thank you, thank you very much. And I'm sorry I didn't bowl better, but you know, I never gave up, and I never got all pissed and weird and blah. Like I never did that. So, and I'm way better at not doing that. So. I think there's a few more Zeke, Zeke Bait fans uh, after watching. So I have no doubt about it. I hope, man. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how many fans I need to do well, but however many. Like, I just need all the all the help I can get out here, for real. But, uh, yeah, uh, regardless, like, just thank you. Just thanks, thanks to everyone even watching this. Like, yeah, just we're going to make it work one day, just not today. 